who is Neil Squire? Neil Squire was a University of Victoria student who broke his neck during Christmas break in a very minor car accident. It was a severe neck fracture at the first vertebrae, so he had virtually total paralysis from the bottom of his tongue down. Later we got a small home computer and modified it with Morse code so he could write in a more coherent manner, he could do word processing and simple spreadsheet applications. In the summer of 1986, we welcomed 17 severely physically disabled people who came to Vancouver from across Canada to participate in a special periods week at Expo 86. They demonstrated their skills in a mock office environment using specially adapted technology. We evaluate and write special adaptive programs for disabled users. Evaluation of disabled persons' abilities to access the computer is also tested at the lab using the latest in technical aids. Is it not? I'm just not quite used to it. Final testing was accomplished with disabled users at Pearson Hospital with the manipulative obedient machine, MOM, or MUM as we like to call it. MUM is a user-friendly, low-cost robotic arm developed and tested by the Neil Squire Foundation. Along with the freedom that'll be accomplished with the robot arm, our R&D department has also succeeded in developing an affordable environmental control unit. The Neil Squire Foundation brings you computer comfort, a work placement with a difference. Through computer comfort, you'll gain valuable insight into the fields of education, health sciences, rehabilitation, social sciences, engineering, computer sciences, software development. Computer Comfort is a training program that offers adults with severe physical disabilities a chance at independence through the use of computers and technology. These people have alert minds, but must depend on the help of others for most activities. Computer Comfort changes their lives. It could change yours. Sarah stands for speech assisted reading and writing. This is for a nurse named China. Technology is transforming this situation. It's giving people who can't hold a pencil a way to write. People who couldn't read a book can now turn pages and learn to read. It provides a voice for those who can't speak. But I know 